see from the scene behind me, New York has gone crazy for Karl Lagerfeld. But Karl Lagerfeld's gone crazy for New York. I wanted New York, I want Paris, I want Milano, but I want one collection in one city. This was a long time plan, but it has to be done right and well with the right people and the right thing. Why do you feel New York is the right city for this? Because it's, uh, for me it was a moment to do it. I had the feeling. Uh, I don't know why, but I know I was right. And also, you know, don't forget I have nearly more friends in New York than in Paris. And I think it's very interesting that we're ending the week on with the Karl Lagerfeld collection, which is quite somber. Karl and I were talking about yes. it being slightly post-apocalyptic. And what does it mean for New York Fashion Week that Karl Lagerfeld has chosen to show here? It's wonderful. I mean, obviously, I imagine that's a little bit to do with the behest of his backer, Tommy Hilfiger, but you know, the more international designers that we have in New York, the better it is. But the other thing I'm, I'm so pleased to to see that people are coming to New York now for, for young talent as well as the big names and that's certainly very different from it was five years ago. It's, he's an unbelievable, you know, very generous grounded person actually. I bring the expensive line from Paris but it's mixed into the Lagerfeld collection from New York and the sportswear and the menwear, all mixed together. And a stylish person for me is someone who mixes something that's slightly lower priced with something that's really extremely uh, sophisticated and much more, you know, the fabric is maybe more expensive. Or... It has a very fresh, very street um, position, it's very modern, very young, um, you know, and it's really the mix of how, you know, bringing actually three collections together into one. Um, and it's fun because when you see it all together, it's like it always was that way. It's very expensive collection pieces mixed with less expensive pieces, but uh, the tailoring, you know, just the spirit of it is very cool. The inspiration is also Northern Europe, the winter in the north, even the winter with no snow, dark browns, greys, black, uh, like uh, uh, Selma Lagerlöf children tales, the gothic tales from uh, Isaac Denison, uh, the uh, paintings from Munch, plays from Strindberg and Ibsen, but all that with no real reference, or the, the dollhouse from Ibsen, all that in a modern way for a woman in a modern city in the winter. You would say there's a sort of expressionist tinge to the clothes? This is before expressionism. This is, this is it's, it's more the late uh, 19th century, but it's more the spirit. It has nothing to do with the graphic effect of it. There are no corsets, there's nothing like this. It's more the, I wouldn't say the intellectual mood of it, but it's the spirit, the, the, the atmosphere, the romance of it. I think what you see on the show is very provocative and very appropriate for a show, but the collection you know, overall is really very well balanced and people can put it together in so many different ways that their individual approach to getting dressed, uh, whether they like something a little more simple or something a little more provocative, uh, it's all there. So that's what also makes it really pretty cool. It's a departure from, say, last season's that very ingenue woman in a frilly white dress, so more of a girl, that very sort of girly. The woman and man that we're sending out tonight is, is a darker, stronger character. Um, you know, there's lots of Think of like browns and greys washed with black. It's very urban and modern. We live in a dark and, and romantic uh, and, and, and a quite tragic world, so I think they're right for the moment. Huh? And there are enough bimbo dresses in the world, that, but I don't have to do the same thing. Do you, do you respond to current events that directly? You do it without knowing it, because it influences you. You don't have to analyze it. I don't do marketing. Suddenly it was like this. I, I didn't know how and why, but it was like this. Too optimistic collection can be a little childish. Huh? And I have the feeling this mood is in the air. I, I see more the romantic mood. Cheap happiness is not that great either. There is a kind of pleasant, I wouldn't say sad, but nostalgic romance, but a nostalgia for the future more than for the past. You see.